Hello, and welcome to the Gravity Sound Balancing Your Mix series, where I take an unedited track and mix it from start to finish. In this series, I will be going over my list of four mixing stages, starting from volume balancing, leading to group bus effects, EQ, and finally, panning. In the previous videos, we went through preparing our mix for stage three, EQ. In stage one, we balanced our mix with volume, then in stage two, we added group bus effects to enhance. In stage three, I will be showing you how to use my puzzle EQ technique. Think of the frequency spectrum as a puzzle. Unlike a puzzle, we can cut the pieces with EQ to make them fit better while not ruining the end result. Try to pick sounds that fill out the puzzle naturally. If something is clashing, try moving it up one octave. Think of this stage as volume balancing 2.0. EQ is a gain based effect meaning it uses volume to create its effect. Think of it as volume balancing for a specific frequency. There are two types of EQ editing, subtractive and additive. Subtractive EQ is when you lower the frequency volume. Additive EQ is when you raise the frequency volume. There are three parameters on EQ, frequency, gain, and Q. Frequency controls the frequency you want to target, Gain controls the amount of volume you wish to add or subtract to the frequency, and Q controls the slope angle of the curve. There are three basic curves, peak slash notch, shelf, and cut slash pass. The peak notch curves are sharp spikes or dips in an EQ that resemble stock market graphs. They are good for eliminating specific frequencies as well as boosting things to make them less subtle. Shelf curves cut or boost frequencies above or below the set threshold. Great for altering a bulk section of a spectrum. Cut or pass filters completely cut out frequencies under or above the threshold. They are great for tightening up sounds and cleaning up low end.
Up till now, you have edited the volume, applied group bus effects, and EQ. Next is the time for the final stage, panning. The reason why we save panning for last is because if we make it sound good in mono, then we can really enhance it with space. As always, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for the final stage of the Balancing Your Mix series.